When you hear the name Thomas Edison, you probably think of the light bulb and electricity. But the fact is, old T. Ed still holds the record for number of United States patents, with over a thousand. Well, if you've ever wondered what those other inventions are, wonder no more. Thomas Edison's work on the phonograph, on lighting, and on direct current electricity lifted him to the heights of the world's most famous inventors. But for each acclaimed success, there were countless quiet failures. Kristen Gallerno met me in one of Edison's machine shops in Greenfield Village to talk about the Wizard of Menlo Park and his less successful endeavors. What are some that are maybe not so well known? Well, we could talk about the testimeter, which was an astronomical device used to measure the coronas of the sun. He invented the electric pen, which became the tattoo gun. Right, that's right. And he even invented a method to preserve fruit using vacuum sealing technology. Mm. But then we also have these. Edison's talking dolls. Edison is working on the phonograph in 1877. And around that time, he brainstorms this list for all the different uses for the phonograph. And one of those uses, a talking doll. Does she have a name? She doesn't have a name, but she does have a voice. So if you look at her torso, it's made out of metal, and there are these little holes pierced in there. And what that is, it's a mechanism to allow sound to escape. These are scaled down phonographs that would have been inside this doll. Did all the dolls say the same things? No, they had different recorded rhymes. So like, twinkle, twinkle, little star, hickory, dickory, dock, Jack and Jill. They were spoken onto these tiny little phonographs by women working in Edison's factory, and they had to shout really loud to get the sound on record. We think of the very first entertainment records, the very first children's records, the very first time that women's voices are recorded on record, they all happened with this doll. They all emanate from a talking doll. Yes. The talking part of it is the innovation. Absolutely, yeah. The tiny phonograph, the scaled down phonograph inside is definitely the innovation of the talking doll. Can I hear what an Edison talking doll would sound like? Yeah, I can play you a sample on my phone. I mean, I'm sorry, it sounds like a horror film. <laughs> There's worse ones than this. They were received not very well. Children found them to be a little on the scary side, um, but they were also heavy, they broke, the sound recordings just weren't up to people's standards. So Edison didn't just invent the talking doll, he invented the creepy doll idea. What's really interesting is that these dolls existed before we could duplicate phonographic records. And so the women that were saying these rhymes on record, every single phonograph that exists, it's a unique take. Oh, my, I mean, truly unique, yes. right? Each of these dolls was truly one of a kind. Absolutely. While original, the dolls were a commercial flop. But the creepy recordings paved the way for more successful talking dolls that would come later, such as Chatty Cathy, popular in the 1960s. To close out this segment, it would be nice to hear from Edison's talking doll again. Okay. You know, I actually have to be somewhere, so I'll see you later.